let's enter some tasks based on how we will deliver the PBS. Our project's purpose, according to our PBS, is to build a new computer. And from all those workshops, the data we have gathered, we are now ready to start entering that information into MS Project. I'm going to click in the task name field of the first row and enter a meaningful task name based on what we are going to deliver. And then I'm going to press the enter key. So here, I'm going to enter, build a new computer and hit return. As you can see, a default duration has been created along with a start and finish date. Now, if we hadn't entered a start date within the project information, the date would have defaulted to your system date of the computer, i.e. today's date. However, because we've set the project start date in the project information, it has defaulted to that date, the 4th of July. Now, if any of these rows or columns are not visible, like anything else in Microsoft, you can double click to expand and reveal the contents within them. So what we'll do now is we will enter all the other activities that are going into this particular plan. Now to save some time, so you don't have to watch me typing in uh, this information, I've created a list of my tasks in Excel. I'm just going to select them all. I'm going to copy and then I'm going to go back to my project file and just below build a new computer, I'm going to paste those in. And here we can see all my tasks have now been entered. Now that we've entered our activities, we need to give the project some structure. And we do this by indenting. So if we look at our PBS shown on the right, we can see it has three levels to its structure. Our plan on the left which represents our WBS, looks like a shopping list. We need to give it some structure based on the PBS. So, let's do some indenting. What I'm going to do to demonstrate how this impacts the work breakdown structure numbering is I'm going to insert the WBS column. I'm going to right click on the task name. I'm going to select insert column and then type WBS and then I'm going to select it from the drop down and I'm just going to shrink this down so it's not taking up all the space and now you can see the WBS numbering right here now keep an eye on the bars over here on the right hand side within the Gantt chart. So as we start to indent you can see the numbering changing over here in the WBS and also a change in the graphical Gantt chart also. I'm going to select here on the left the main unit. I'm going to hold down the shift button and I'm going to select assemble computer. Then on the task ribbon over here I'm going to select the right indent button. As you can see now, the build a new computer has a slightly different graphical representation, which denotes it as a summary task. I'm then going to look at the main unit. So again here, I'm going to select underneath the main unit task 3. Hold down the shift button and select assemble the main unit. And again I'm going to click the right indent button.
As you can see, as I'm doing this, the numbers and the levels of the WBS change accordingly. And this will then start to represent and look like a product breakdown structure. I'm going to do this for the monitor, the mouse and the keyboard. And now we should see something that now resembles our product breakdown structure. Now if you look at what we entered into MS Project, you can see that the WBS numbering based on our indenting and looking at the main unit and then comparing that information to the PBS main unit, the numbering is exactly the same. So you can see how the PBS is extremely useful to structure your project plan and shape it within MS Project. Now, during your workshops, you will have received estimates, which could be work or duration based information. You can estimate the time that you will take to complete a task within MS Project by entering either work or duration based data. Work is the amount of effort or person hours needed to complete a task and duration is the amount of actual time that will pass before the task is completed. If you estimate via a work based approach it's important to remember your task duration will not be calculated until you assign a resource. Alternatively, if you enter expected durations, your tasks, work or effort will not be calculated either until you assign a resource to your task. Let's insert the work column and see how we enter estimates via a work-based method and an expected duration method. So I'm going to right click on the duration column. I'm going to click insert column. I'm going to type work and select work from the drop down. Now the work column is visible. Then we're going to enter some expected durations for the main unit. Now an important thing to say here is do not enter values at a parent or subtask level for duration or work estimates as these are calculated based on their related child tasks. I'm going to enter some duration based information here for the main unit tasks. I'm going to enter 1D. This is for one day. And if you look on the right, you should be able to see a table that shows you how you would enter information for minutes, hours, days, weeks, and months. So I'm going to press enter, and then I'm going to enter the next 2D and return. So you can see now that there's no effort being shown here, but the main unit is now changed to 2.5 days duration. Next, I'm going to enter some work based estimates for the monitor. Now hopefully, uh, in the real world, it wouldn't take this long to build a computer. I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes. And again, what you can see is that the work for the monitor has calculated based on the hours that we've entered here. However, the duration has not calculated because we've not entered any resources. 
I'm going to now quickly enter some values for the mouse and keyboard. Now go ahead and freeze this video and enter all the values that I've put in here for the duration and the work based estimates. Now when you've completed you should have the same numbers as me so build your computer work should be 142 hours and the duration should be 2.5 days. Now once you've done that that's the end of this training video.